Here's the next little bit we're going to look at is finishing three different types of finish. Jack, just come away from the goal. Good. And you're going to rotate every three with Charlie. So once they've all been, you'll ro rotate with Charlie. Nice and quickly. Have a good touch out your feet. Strike. Brilliant. Good strike. Good hands, Charlie. Hold it there. On the first point with the man driving and getting the shot off early, we looked at the, the power and placement. Is it power? Do we strike through it, depending on the keeper's position, your angles, or do we place it, look for the, bend, the little bend one, depending on where the keeper is. Rudy, as soon as that happens, it's now 1v1. So you're a defender. Can you beat him and get your shot off? The, the next point with the, with the 1v1 situation, we said to the guys, actually, it might not be that you've got to take, beat your man. It might be that you can work your yard to get your shot off, because we're looking at shooting opportunities. So rather than beat him, and, and we had a few of them beat him, and they try and beat him again and not get the shot off. So we're encouraging, shoot, 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 shoot. Good, Joel. Then once that ball's dead, this one comes alive, and it's 2v1, OK? If you were attacking on this cone here, the 1v1, which was you, Joel, you are now a defender. Play. And then the 2v1, looking at actually, can we use that overload to get a shot? And we should be set, we should be balanced, and we should at least minimum get a shot off. Good finish, Rudy. Well done. So once you've come back, Rudy, you won't start on that one. You'll move across one. So you leave your football there. Come on to that one. Joel, leave your football there. Come on to that one. Callum, leave your ball and come on to this one. Out your feet and strike. As soon as you hit it. Good 1v1, Callum. Callum, got to be quicker. Good save, Jack. 2v1. Who's defending, Rudy? The drill works really, really well because it, it keeps everyone engaged all the time. They can't switch off because they've got all new roles and responsibilities, especially at that age where the concentration span isn't big. It's very much they've got to stay focused, got to stay focused. This angle here, where are we looking to strike, really? Why are we looking for the far post? Brilliant. So if we hit that direction, we've got rebounds. Fantastic. Here, with the 1v1, you're a bit, it's a bit of a pose to work now, isn't it? You might not need to beat me. You might just get that yard, and then there it is, and get your shot off. Drive out that way to the byline. Drive outwards, outwards. Good. Hold it there, Alf. What, what scenario have we got here? A fantastic across. So we just looked at our warm-up with our volley. It might be if you suck him out there, Alf. It might be a crossing opportunity and we get a shot off there from a volley. This one in here is slightly different, however. You have to go past that yellow mat there. We progressed it again with the crossing. That's a whole new finish in itself. And you've got to work on, can you work a little bit of space, a little pocket of space to get your shot off? Joel, tell him. Yes, Ben. Can you work your space, Dan Jones? Nearly. Clever movement, good quality of cross, unlucky. It's, it's a very good drill for, for them to be switched on and know their roles and responsibilities. And you've got striking in there, you've got passing, dribbling, crossing. You've got the whole lot, if you like, the whole package.